Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to demonstrate the morphology of the maxillary third molars, also known as the wisdom teeth. So these are the maxillary third molars. You can see these are the maxillary third molars. These teeth emerge into the oral cavity at the age of 17 to 21 years and the root completion is around the age of 18 to 25 years. All third molars, whether they are the mandibular third molars or they are the maxillary third molar, show more variation in size, shape and the relative position than any other teeth in the dental arch. These teeth are really very well developed as the maxillary second molar to which it bears some resemblance. These are the maxillary third molars. This is the maxillary third molar of the right side. And this is the maxillary third molar of the left side. There are two cusps. This one, the larger one, is the mesial buccal cusp. It is near to the mesial surface. And the smaller cusp is the distrobuccal cusp. The mesiobuccal cusp, as I already mentioned, is larger in dimension and the distrobuccal is smaller in dimension. In between the two buccal cusps, you can see a buccal developmental groove. The crown of the, the third molar is shorter cervico-occlusally and narrower mesiodistally as compared to the teeth present anterior to it. A single fused root has a more distal position if you compare it with the center of the crown. And the root is also shorter cervicoapically as compared to the teeth that are present anterior to it. This is the palatal aspect. You can see a single large cusp that is visible. And note therefore though no developmental groove is present on the palatal side. You can see part of the distal side and part of the mesial side from the palatal aspect. This is a single palatal root that has a, that has a buccal inclination. From the mesial aspect, this is the buccal cusp. This is a mesiobuccal cusp. This is the mesial marginal ridge and this is the single palatal cusp. This is a cervical line. That, is, uh, that has a curvature towards the occlusal aspect. This is the palatal root with the inclination towards the buccal aspect. This is a single buccal root. Uh, otherwise, the surface is smooth from the mesial aspect. From the distal aspect, more of the buccal surface and the palatal surface is visible. In addition to that, more of the occlusal surface is visible as compared to the teeth that are present interior to it. Otherwise, the surface is similar to that of the mesial surface. From the occlusal aspect, you can see that the crown has a heart shape outline. So, heart shape outline. There are three cusps. The largest one is the palatal cusp because there is no distal palatal cusp so a single large palatal cusp is there. This larger cusp is the mesiobuccal cusp and this is the distal buccal cusp. From the palatal aspect the crown has a semicircular outline. There is a deep central fossa and you can see there are numerous grooves that are radiating from the occlusal aspect that are radiating from this occlusal aspect if you have any query you can email me and the email address that is right now appearing on the screen alternatively you can comment below uh, or you can follow me on twitter uh, you can see the link in the description thank you very much for watching